Uh, well, my ethnicity is kind of a uh, Heinz 57 um, European, I guess. My father's father was, uh, was German, and he was born in Napa, California. And he actually, he was raised in a German family, and they spoke German up until he went away to uh, go to public school when he started school. Uh, my mother's family has been in the United States since, gosh, since before the American Revolution. So they've been here for a long time. Um, my father's family is more recent in terms of like, like 19th century uh, German immigrants. Uh, as far as my culture, I have a lot of different things going on too. Um, my wife is Jewish, so we have, we have uh, some Jewish traditions in our family. Uh, I grew up celebrating Christmas and sort of the Christian holidays, although I'm not really particularly religious myself. Um, <clears throat> and I've uh, grown up in San Jose, so I've been exposed to all kinds of different interesting cultural uh, types. I'm uh, Indian, and uh, my culture is it's, uh, mixed, it's traditional and uh, modern. Indian, and in my culture, tradition, same thing, kind of. In, in the tradition, there's like every year, they hold, they hold temple dearly. So once a year in Cambodian New Year's, we all go out to the temple and celebrate. Um, I identify myself as Chinese, and I guess for my culture, I'd still say I celebrate a lot of Chinese cultures, but it'd be like a mix of both American and Chinese. Uh, well, I think in, in today, looking at, say, the, uh, the demographics, ethnic groups and stuff in San Jose, I think it's, it's changed quite a bit, uh, and I've seen, the, I've seen it, it change in my lifetime. I, I grew up, when I was growing up, I, was, I lived in East San Jose, so I was around a lot of Latino people. And there was uh, a pretty sizable white population at that point. Then when I was in high school, we started to see the effects of um, increased uh, immigration from uh, different parts of Asia. So I had increasingly, as I was growing up, I had more and more uh, classmates from places like Vietnam, the Philippines, um, some Indian folks. And now what I'm noticing is uh, since I've become a teacher, I've noticed a, a, a big increase in, in people from uh, South Asia, like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, places like that. Not much has changed in my culture. Not like no differences actually, because like they still hold a temple dearly now than they held, they held it back then. I think today um, social media and the uh, interconnectivity of the entire world uh, and the prevalence of pop popular culture has really influenced a lot of immigrants, immigrants children's lives, like myself. I think if I was born about 50 years ago, uh, I would have been a lot more for family oriented and you know, traditional in a sense. Culture. I think all cultures are, are uh, beautiful in their own way, <clears throat> as long as they respect other cultures. And I think that, uh, you know, I don't think I, my culture is pretty It's not better because they're like a pacifist. Like, our, my culture, <laughs> the people are like, they don't really fight. But when they fight, they fight using music. They argue with music. Um, I don't believe any culture is better. It's just a different way of looking at it. Um, I think that uh, in terms of my uh, my own personal growth, I think that living in such a diverse place like San Jose, I think I've just become exposed to more different types of cultural traits, like different foods, which I love uh, to, to try, uh, different ideas. I think that uh, basically exposure to a lot of different cultural groups is a good thing because it teaches us new things. Um, it used to be more traditional, now there's so much Western influence and um, yeah, people are getting more and more Westernized.
so much as far it's changing slowly and they're like in in my country a lot of people there's a lot of Vietnamese people moving into uh, my country a lot of Cambodian people are getting angry by that and the president is just like wild being wild um, I think a lot of the t uh, things these days it's more like we adapt to the uh, modern standards of society and start to abandon the old folk culture and traditions we have, such as New Year's. For example, my father always knew when New Year's was or when the Moon Festival was, but nowadays I just remember that it's in August. So it feels like we're losing a lot of the old touches, but we're starting to know a lot more of the international things like Breast Cancer Awareness Month and things like that. I think my culture is pretty modern. <clears throat> I don't really have, um, you know, the tr traditions that that I do participate in are pretty Americanized. I think traditional. They're trying to modern, but they're more traditional. They go in the aspects of the temple, everyday life of manual labor, of getting up, doing food, getting food, and then in ceremonies for weddings and all that. I think at its roots, my culture, the Chinese culture, is very traditional as it uh, stresses filial piety. But nowadays, it's becoming more and more modern, just like the American society is. I think that my culture, uh, I think, I think cultures just change naturally. I think in place like California or in the United States, we have so much uh, exposure to different groups of people that our culture is going to change no matter what. And sometimes it, 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 there will be tension between groups, sometimes groups will blend together. And um, it changes just sort of something that's inevitable. I'd say it's because they're like a third world country, right? And then so... It's just that how where they stand, not much has changed because a lot of stuff is happening to them. They had Vietnam back then um, invade, and then well, obviously it's changed because of social media and the uh, techno uh, tech revolution of like the 2000s and the introduction of computers and all these kind of things. I do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like it. I like the traditions in it. I like all the going to the temple, being with my family, close as that can be. Um, I wouldn't say I like the culture, but I do appreciate it. Um, because that is where I come from, so you can't really forget where you come from. But at the same time, it's, it's sometimes it's more of a burden than anything because your father or your parents uh, always expect you to know all these things when in fact it's more for something of the older generation. <laughs> well, I, I guess I consider myself pretty Americanized. So I'm, I don't know. It's it's it's. I think it changed. It it has changed because um, of more more exposure to different groups. Um, America actually, uh, when I came here like 27 years ago and now. I see people celebrating Indian festivals more than it used to be. It's more prominent now. Even the other cultures are getting into that. You know, like, uh, I don't know whether you know it or not, like Holi, it's a festival of color. You know, so uh, even everybody is celebrating that, you know. So people are becoming more and more aware of our culture. In America, I think, because uh, during the temple and in Cambodian New Year and each ceremony and all that, they have amplifiers. So like, there's karaoke, there's a lot of singing, there's a lot of praying, and everyone can get involved, and then when they go into the room, there's like enough room for everybody, and they all hear the sounds and the prayers together. Uh, how has it changed in America? I think America used to be really family-oriented too, but as time goes on, and there's more uh, connectivity between everybody, um, we just lose that sense of intimacy and we just become 
part of the giant cycle that is uh, popular culture. But it doesn't mean that we lose our uh, individual perks and uh, quirks. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's it's grown as my family's grown, so it adopted new types of uh, traditions. Yes, I did. We celebrate our Indian festivals, and even every day I follow. I mean, like uh, the rituals and all that. I do it every day. Uh, on and off. On and off. I mean, on and off. But like, I want to try to keep it. It's it's, it's something I like. I think a lot of me still keeps a lot of the really, really traditional parts. For example, I, I always want to make my fa uh, family proud and get good grades and you know make uh, money for the family. But at the same time, it feels like American culture or popular culture is influencing me to say that I will pursue my own dreams and goals instead of just working with 